so hello everybody again. This time we're doing lesson 5.4 multiple forces. Let's start. We are going to identify gravity, applied forces, normal forces, a frost, up frost, friction, air resistance, and water resistance. See that an object may have multiple forces acting on it at rest. Make a test of paper airplane to demonstrate the forces on it at rest and when it is flying. Use force diagrams to show the name and direction of forces acting on an object in movement or at rest. Make prediction using knowledge of forces. Describe the accuracy of our predictions based on results. Suggest how a paper airplane could be improved and explain any changes we could make. Make a conclusion from results using our knowledge of forces. So the keywords here are multiple and frost. Getting started. Identify the following types of force. The force that pushes things up. A force that drags you back when you are swimming. A force which wears away the threat on tires. A force that pulls you towards the center of the earth. Two forces that are that slow down a car driving down a motorway. Many forces together. All objects are affected by several different forces or multiple forces at once. The forces that is the strongest will cause the change of an object. The change might be a change of shape, a change of position, or a change of in a speed an object is traveling. Look at this example of Sophia, Sophia rolling a ball. There are several forces acting on the ball. A glide force as Sophia pushes the ball. Gravity pulls the ball down towards the earth. Air resistance slows the ball down once it is moving. Friction with the force slows the ball down once it is moving. Which forces are acting when you ride a bicycle? Look at the picture of Marcus riding the bicycle. Gravity is pulling Marcus and the bicycle towards the center of the earth. Friction between the tires and the road is pulling him back. Air resistance is also pulling him back. To overcome the air resistance and friction, Marcus must push on the pedals to push the bicycle forwards. This is thrust. Thrust is an applied force. Professional cyclists who enter races all over the world have very carefully designed and, and very expensive bicycles. Designers use science when they choose strong but lightweight materials to make the bicycles. Tires to cope with rough roads or smooth roads and high-tech gears to cope with mountain, mountainous country. Activity. Forces at work when you cycle. List four forces involved when you ride a bicycle. Which force is a force apply when you cycle? Look at the photograph of cyclists racing at the start of this topic. Which ways these cyclists overcome air resistance? Why is it difficult to cycle on a day when the wind is blowing into your face? Why do cyclists with smooth tires on a smooth road travel faster? Draw a force diagram to show the four forces acting on a ball that Sophia rose in the picture above. You don't have to draw Sophia. Just the ball on the floor. Forces acting on airplanes. Air resistance and gravity are the two forces which act on anything lifted around the earth and move through the air. 
to overcome these forces, we have to create our own forces of thrust and lifting up. An airplane is a good example of these forces. An airplane uses its wings and engines to lift it off the ground and thrust it forward. We can demonstrate this in the next activity. Think like a scientist. Make and test a paper airplane. You will need a sheet of A4 paper. Step 1. Fold the paper in half vertically. Like, like, like picture number 1. Step 2. Unfold the paper and fold each of the top corners into a center line. So it's, so it's like picture 2. Step 3. Fold the top edges into the center line. So it's so so it's so we do it like picture three A and three B. Step four. Fold a plane in half toward you. So it's like the pictures four A and four B. Fold the, step five. Fold the wings down, matching the top edges up with the bottom edge of the body. Like step 5a and step 5b. Step 6. Hold your airplane under the wings and launch it into the air. Questions. While your airplane is at rest, what forces are acting on it? Predict what will happen to your airplane when you throw it up into the air. Throw your airplane upwards and outwards into the air. When you did this, which two natural forces were acting on it? When you threw your airplane into the air, what applied forces did you create to overcome the forces you named in question B? Your paper airplane is flying. Copy the diagram of a paper airplane. Name each of the four forces marked with arrows. What happened to your airplane when you flew it up into the air? Is this what you predicted? Discuss why the airplane crashed to the ground. Suggest some changes to make your airplane stay up in the air for longer. Discuss how a pilot prevents a real airplane from falling to the ground. Write a conclusion about how airplanes can overcome forces and fly. How am I doing? Can I identify forces on a force diagram of a paper airplane? Can I draw a force diagram much easier than before? Do I still need more practice? How did making and testing a paper airplane help you to understand multiple forces better? Look what I can do. I can identify gravity, normal force, applied forces, friction, thrust, up thrust, or lift, and air resistance, or drag. I can make and test a paper airplane to demonstrate forces on it at rest and when it is flying. I can identify the name and direction of forces acting on an object on a force diagram. I can make predictions using knowledge of forces. I can describe the accuracy of my predictions based on results. I can suggest changes to my airplane to make it stay in the air for longer. I can make a conclusion about how airplanes are designed to overcome forces. So, see you next time when we're learning about Lesson 5.5 about magnet and magnetic materials. Thank you and goodbye.